innovation is the DNA of our brand. Never ever being satisfied. Well, my grandfather invented the AC tube, which allowed us to plug radios into the electrical current. And it was the real centerpiece for the family to learn what was going on. Uh, and people spent a lot of time. And so he started to build radios in the early 1930s. Uh, and it was a great brand uh, at that time and a great business. Phillips offered to buy his business, move it to the U.S., scale it, and they said to him, become a real business. And he said, well, we're in Canada, we're doing a good job, and we are a real business, and I'm not selling it, I'm not going to move. And that's pretty well the same things that we think about now. Well, when the internet started, Rogers was the first company in North America to offer a broadband service. And obviously that connectivity into a home, businesses quickly wanted that same thing. We created a business called Rogers and Network Services. Taking the investments we made in cable, we started in fiber and used that fiber connectivity for businesses. Rogers Network Services was an early investor. We put a lot of capital into it and grew that business to a decent size, but ultimately sold it. And that helped keep our company strong, allow us to invest in the future, uh, allow us to buy all of Rogers Wireless, and, and was a real catalyst at the time. Rogers Business Solutions started as a brand for small business at cable, and that was kind of a brand that symbolized business and our efforts at business. In 2003, I took on uh, leading the cable company. Uh, we came up with a strategic plan of things we could do, and enterprise seemed like a great opportunity. A network facility-based alternative is something they wanted back then, is something companies still ask for now. We were just getting into the home phone business. Rogers Wireless was starting to get more serious in wireless data. High-speed data was starting to scale. And the company wanted to focus on a product like consumer products where you build one and you could sell maybe a million of them. And so we didn't get approval at that time. When we left the meeting, uh, you know, the finance lead at Cable was gentleman Don Huff and walked out of the meeting and said, well, what the hell are we gonna do? I guess we're not doing that. And as a good son, I said, we certainly are. Don't listen to what he said. Like any new business, when you start up, it's losses, it's capital, it's getting in front of customers. It's trying to explain that Rogers is in the business space. And it took a long time. Then when Rogers bought Sprint Canada and closed in Canada Day of 2005, the same day we launched our home phone business, it gave us a competency that allowed us to jumpstart the whole business group with the addition of Sprint Canada. And so the company morphed and, uh, and looked at where we have fiber and where we have cable networks. And try to focus on being more of a facility-based player. And that's where we've been probably the last decade or so. And I think we're now at that precipice of moving forward and saying now we've got the pieces, we're going to give you the capital, and let's scale it and let's build it. And Rogers in business is still pretty small. And that's a good thing because there's one place to grow and that's up. When they bet on Rogers and on the networks we're giving them, it's to run their business. Their business, depending on what they're using it for, can be everything. And if it goes down, their business can go down. So it's imperative that we give the customer what we promise the customer, that we build a, a redundant network. Because networks do have issues, they do fail. Parts wear out, there are fiber cuts but we gotta make it as seamless as possible so the customer doesn't know that. So I think it's very personal. I think it's uh, personal for me because I was lucky to be part of it and part of the growth of it. Because I've been at it a while, it's more of an evolution. And I think it's more about that long-term vision of where you're gonna go. And I think that's what's impressed me is that determination that we have to offer a total alternative in every part of wireless and wireline to Bell and Telus. In the early days, the Rogers brand was not the same as a large telco brand like Bell or Telus. Today, it does hold its weight, and so uh, uh, we've done very well. Rogers is a great brand. We've got a great business group and a product set that Dean and the team have built that we are now a credible choice for business. 
history has given us the fortitude to look forward and be a real credible player, and I'm just thrilled about it, and I can't wait to see what this team's gonna do.